morning. This is my uh, usual early morning, it's not that early now, uh, discourse, it's very brief, on the subject of prayer. The earth, the whole earth, that means everybody is under this COVID-19 threat. Everybody is at this moment, the whole earth, is being called to prayer. Say what? Let me say again. The whole earth is being called to prayer. Unified prayer in the context of humility. No more uh, prayer warriors who are appointed and anointed so-called to pray for us. But the whole earth is being called to prayer. The thing is, there's way too little prayer that's going on. You can underpray, but you can never overpray. What we lack is a good theology on humble and united prayer. Our pride has kept us apart and hinders us from crying out to God with a sense of holy desperation. Yes. And we need to come together as a people and call upon God like never before. There is no greater indicator, an indication of a sleeping church than a church that does not pray. And that even when the call is made to pray, people look at you funny. I tell people that the whole earth is called to pray. They, they squint their... their <laughs> they squint their eyes and they look at me like, yeah, E.T. phone home, like I'm some extraterrestrial or something like that. Look. At least 10% of the biblical content is prayer. 10% of the Bible is prayer. And it is astonishing that the church uh, in much of the world does not talk to God regularly. The average preacher prays five minutes a day. Can you imagine that? This is a statistical study that was done in uh, uh, one of the North American countries, wink, wink, you know where. They do all the statistics. And preachers, these are the pastors of the church, the reverend, the bishops. They pray five minutes a day. Five minutes. The average preacher prays five minutes a day. No wonder they're average. <laughs> you can't be above average with that kind of prayer life. Mm, they don't talk regularly to God. Look, brethren. Prayer is the highest part of the work that is entrusted to us. It is the root and strength of all other work. If the work of the God is done without prayer, and it can be done without prayer, it is not going to be a strong work. It is not going to be a lasting work. Men ought always to pray and not to faint. The only thing that the scripture enjoins us to do always is to pray. It didn't say always to preach. It didn't say always to lay hands on the sick. It didn't say always to cast out demons. But the one thing it tells us that we must always do, men ought always to pray and is not to faint. Let me repeat what I started off by saying. The whole earth is being called to prayer. You have a good day now. God bless. The boom is out.